We don't have the distribution for woodworking tools here in Colombia, as most of you enjoy just north of us. Getting my hands on a jointer meant picking up the absolute best one that Amazon would deliver. I picked up the Jet JJ6HHBT. I have heard good things about it. Though a six inch bed isn't big enough for the work that I do, I'll have to find a way to make eight and 10 inch boards flat. The first thing to do was check everything and hope it came intact. Returning this one for a replacement would be a nightmare. Everything seemed to be there, even though there were washers and spacers floating around at the bottom of the box. It would have probably been a good idea to have another person helping me pull this out of the box. So the first thing I did was throw the manual back in the box and throw the box in a corner. Once I had the jointer on a stand, I took my time admiring and preparing it. Okay, let's install the dust collection. PowerTech has these dust collection kits that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll try to make a video someday about dust collection setup I have going here. So I took a look at the included parts and decided that only idiots don't read manuals. <laughs> so I went hunting for the box that the manual was in. First thing to install is the fence support. The two screws for it were already partially installed on the jointer. In goes the fence support. Next up, the locking plate and the sliding handle. Then the fence and bracket. Ah, sh so, uh, right, we just need to spin the fence around and get that pointy end down onto the bed. Okay, the fence comes off and onto the makeshift workbench. Luckily, there are just two bolts to this. I gotta get some better lighting here at the workbench. These bulbs are making a weird shadow run across the screen. Once the fence is back on, everything makes much more sense. Now it's time to adjust the fence to hit that 90 degree mark and the stops at the 245 degrees. Not too bad, but I think we can tweak it some more. Unscrew this, twist that, and we should be there, right? <laughs> That looks about right. And... Nice. All right, let's fire this thing up. It's time for a test. And I'm gonna take a 1 16th pass from this pine board I scavenged from a shipping skid that came in from Brazil. Hello. 
little curve. Okay, I know, I, I don't have the technique quite down yet. Not bad though, it's already taking shape. I kind of forgot to open the blast gate for the dust collection. But it looks really good. A couple of passes and I'm ready for the edge. Beautiful. Whoa. Just in case you're unfamiliar with a jointer, the idea is to get one face and one edge done on the jointer. Then, take it over to a table saw and do the other edge. And finally, to a planer to do the other face. If the jointer is set up correctly, this technique will produce a perfect board. Now on to the table saw. See what I'm saying? Perfect 90. And finally, the planer. I just installed a Shelix cutter head on this one. Let's check all four sides. Yeah, the board looks good. The jointer is installed and ready for work. <laughs> Note to self, always read the manual. 